Mr. Clevon here from Clevon Maths. Today we're going to be looking at a few different things with the distance speed time formula, how to convert minutes to hours, hours to minutes, and use that in the context of the distance speed time formula. Remember, if you're liking this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, check the links in the description for further help on this topic, and remember to subscribe to get further updates from this channel. Thank you. We all know it's 60 minutes is equal to one hour. So that means that if I had one minute, well, one minute is 60 divided by 60 is one, I would have one out of 60 hours. And that is the key point here that minutes are one sixtieth of an hour. So for 20 minutes would be 20 sixtieths, 30 minutes would be 30 sixtieths and so on. So whatever minutes I have, if I take it as a fraction out of 60, that will tell me exactly how many hours I have straight away, okay? Let's do a few simple examples just on that before we get into speed distance time problems. So if I had 15 minutes and I wanted to know what that was as a fraction of an hour, first thing I would always do is do 15, that's out of 60. It's as simple as that, it's 15 out of 60 hours. Now we don't want to always have to work with a fraction like 15 out of 60, especially if we're not using a calculator. So we always try and simplify our fraction as best we can. 15 out of 60 is a quarter, so that's a quarter hours. Or if we were doing that as a decimal, we should all know that quarter is 0 0.25. Let's do another simple example. Classic one, 30 minutes. We all know that's half an hour. But if we didn't, it would be 30 out of 60 hours, simplifying that 30 out of 60 is a half hour, or 0 0.5. I've got 12 minutes, that's 12 out of 60 hours, so I can divide the top and bottom by 12 to get 1 out of 5, a fifth hours. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a very simple overview of how to convert minutes to hours, or fraction of an hour, okay? And we're going to use that in a few simple problems using speed to distance time, which you should already know how to do because of the previous video which overviewed how to use the speed to distance time formula. If you're not sure how to do that, please check that video out. Okay, example. Tony cycles at an average speed of 12 miles per hour for 40 minutes. How far did he travel? Step one is to always check our units. Hours, miles per hour minutes these are completely different so i would have to compare my minutes to hours so step one 40 minutes equals 40 out of 60 hours always out of 60 simplifying my fraction i can divide the top and bottom so i get two thirds simply dividing by 20 to get 2 and by 20 to get 3. So I get 2 thirds hours. Step 2 is exactly the same as when it's just a standard speed distance time problem. We draw our speed distance time triangle. Remember distance at the top over speed times time. I cover up the one I want. Distance in this case because it's how far I travelled. So it tells me straight away that distance is speed times time. So step two, I write down distance equals speed times time. And I substitute in what I've got, 12 miles per hour times my new time, which is two thirds of an hour. Times and by a fraction is the same as doing a fraction of an amount. A quick reminder of that, it means you times by the top and divide by the bottom. So 12 times 2 is 24, divided by 3, which is 8. And the units will be miles, because it was miles per hour. So the answer we get is 8 miles. Okay, example 2. This car travels at an average speed of 32 miles per hour for 1 hour and 30 minutes. How far did it travel? So again, we've got a mixture of hours and minutes here this time, and we've got hours and our miles per hour, so we're going to have to convert this into one whole fraction. So we'll take the minute part first. 30 minutes 
So that's 30 out of 60 hours, which we can simplify quite easily by dividing by 30 on top and bottom to get one out of two, a half hour. So our total time is going to be one hour plus a half hour. Well, that's one and a half hours. Which for this video, I'm going to change to 1.5 hours. Because a half is 0 0.5. So now we do step two, the same as we always do. We use our distance, speed, time, triangle. Distance over speed times time. How far did it go? Cover the distance. It tells what to do speed times time. So D equals S times T. Always write down the formula you're going to use. Our speed was 32 and it's times 1.5 because it's one and a half hours. Slightly trickier sum to do in our heads. 32 times 1 is 32. A half, 0 0.5 of 32 is 16. So I need to do 32 and 16 to get 48. So the final answer is 48 miles. Just take your time doing your sums. If you have to do a sum at the side to work that out, that's fine. If you even have to use a calculator, that's great. As long as you've done that 1.5 or one and a half hours yourself, that is good enough. Okay, let's move on. Mr. Clown here. Thanks for watching this video on changing minutes to fractions of an hour. I hope you found that useful and you're able now to do some simple examples when you have to change your minutes to a fraction of an hour and then use the distance speed type formula. Remember to give this video a little thumbs up again and check the links in the description if you need any further help.